Welcome to a new issue of the Liebherr Baumer magazine of Baumer 2016. Today the focus is very much on careers at Liebherr. In other words, training, studies, jobs, everything there is to know. And we will also take a look behind the scenes and find out what the components in the machines actually look like. So this is why we are here now at the components stand. This here is just one of the many engines used in Liebherr construction machines. Energy efficiency and cost effectiveness. These are the key issues at Liebherr when it comes to the development of components. Liebherr shows what these components actually look like at a separate exhibition stand. For example, the energy storage system, Lidero, which increases the productivity of machines and drive systems. This energy storage system enables the accumulation and supply of 100 kilowatts of power within 15 seconds. And it has the big advantage that it is a unique device. In other words, the customer only has to connect plus and minus to his DC link. He does not need to worry about a large number of devices. My connection my diesel or my power connection only needs to provide the basic performance, the average performance. I have the advantage, you see, particularly with the diesel supply, that the diesel can run on significantly less power, so I avoid noise and emissions. Efficiency and versatility are also evident with hydraulic cylinders from Liebherr. A wide range of exhibits are on show at the component stand. From the hydraulic cylinder with 20 different piston diameters between 100 and 200 millimeters to the extremely lightweight Luffin cylinder manufactured from high strength materials and suitable for use in almost all ambient conditions. The offer is complemented with hydraulic power units. These units have a power output of up to 75 kilowatts and a load capacity of up to 2000 liters. With discharge volumes up to 500 liters per minute and operating pressures up to 350 bar. The fact that the development and manufacture of both cylinders and power units are all done in-house, we are able to optimally match both components so that it is possible to realize a particularly efficient unit. Furthermore, we also have the opportunity to integrate additional components such as a control system. Look back to the setup of the Liebherr stand. A new product arrives in Munich roughly two months before the start of Baumer. The new D98 engine is delivered to the exhibition stand. Tact and a gentle touch are needed to position the giant weighing approximately nine tons between the building sections of the Liebherr stand. The engine, which was designed for mining applications, is one of the highlights. The D98 engine series has the highest available power density in the market segment. All main components were developed by Liebherr. The 12-cylinder version is on show at Baumer, V16 and V20 to follow. The original idea was to widen the Liebherr product range. For some time now, we are experienced with diesel engines in the class up to 25 litres. With the D98 series, we have managed to stretch our portfolio of engines to the field of 100 kilowatts to 4,500 kilowatts. The engine is implemented in a so-called standardized design. We use a maximum number of common parts for the various performance levels and for the different applications. For the customer, this means that the engine is easier to service. The maintenance staff only need to complete a single training session, and thus all engines can be serviced. I am standing in front of a six-cylinder diesel engine. It is indeed quite amazing. But what is even better is that I am here with Simona Stier. You are marketing manager for Liebherr Components. Tell me something about the challenges facing Liebherr until 2019 at the latest, when the new emissions standards are introduced. The emissions standards in 2019 will bring us stage five. Stage 5 means even stricter regulations in relation to particulate emission. This is why we expanded our current SCR technology system and have the SCR filter at the trade fair. With this equipment we are already optimally prepared today for the regulations in 2019. There are also some machines today which are already equipped with the SCR filter, for example in Switzerland or machines for tunnel construction. As I made my way through the stand I just saw that there is a type of 
of rear view camera at the back. Liebherr calls this environment monitoring. With this system we are increasing occupational safety in the machines. The driver receives information from a software, which is connected to two cameras that detect the distance of objects or people to the machine and send him a warning signal when something is in the danger zone. Can you demonstrate this to me using a living object, us two? Then give him, give him a hint, yeah. Ah. Is this what the driver sees? Basically, no. The driver must concentrate on his work environment. The environment monitoring is essentially there to give the driver an acoustic warning. For example, a beep or an optical signal on his monitor. When there is something in the danger zone, like we are doing now, then he receives a type of caution message. Everyone should understand that then. Is there something here at the stand that you can say is your absolute favorite component? That would be the winch system, because this system is a very impressive demonstration of our system competence. We developed and produced everything in-house, starting with the electric motor to the winch itself, with the plug-in gear and the switch gear, which is for the control. Okay. You are a marketing manager now, but I notice you also have an excellent knowledge of technology. I have a personal question. How long have you been doing this? I have been at Liebherr now for seven years. I started in 2009. My first post was Biberach. I moved to Switzerland in 2012 to take over the management of the marketing division there. I'm curious to see how long you'll be here. No disrespect meant there. We have already spoken to one of your colleagues who has been with the company 33 years. Thank you for the chat. Now we are taking a trip to human resources and there it is all about training, studies and jobs. At the training stand of Liebherr one can try out many things. In other words, one can drive an excavator like I am now, or one can also weld. There is a real welding simulator. There is even a competition. There is a lot happening here. Young people can obtain information on what the future holds, maybe also a future at Liebherr. Stefan Heisler, Hello and thank you for taking the time out to chat with me. How is it here at the career stand of Liebherr? What type of people come here? What can they expect? Here are young people who are interested in an apprenticeship or studies. They've certainly come to the right place. We present inspiring technology. This is something the young lads or girls should also bring, an enthusiasm for technology. It is a lot more technical than one would imagine. For instance, a construction machine has an unbelievable amount of technology on board. There are sensors, data transmitters like those installed in airplanes. I would always have thought of this field as a man's world. Is it now common to see many young women coming to you and saying, I want to do that? Absolutely. We now have female welders, female mechatronic engineers and female fitters who travel all over the world and repair the massive construction machines. You have just mentioned that Liebherr has many apprentices and trainees. Could you mention a few figures? In Germany, Austria and Switzerland, we have over 1,500 apprentices and trainees. We have over 20 jobs that require training and 21 dual courses of study in Germany alone. That's a huge choice for young individuals. Well, one thing that sticks in my mind is that it is a job for both men and women and that high quality information can be obtained here. Absolutely. Thank you, Mr. Heisler. These two people here are called Sarah and Michael and both are completing an apprenticeship or course of studies. Now I'm excited, a young woman at Liebherr. What are you training to be? Mechatronics engineer. Explain to me briefly what that is. So a mechatronics engineer is a cross between an industry mechanic and an electrician. I work a lot with metal, but I also work a great deal with electricity. And rumor has it you come from Hamburg. Now I'm from the lovely little Swabian state. That was clear to me. Is this something you've always wanted to do? 
Yes, it was always my dream since I was a young child, and also to do it at Liebe. Michael, Michael what are you studying? Mechanical engineering. And how far along are you? I'm halfway through my course to become a mechanical engineer. I'm specializing in design and development. And it's not just a course of studies, but a dual study program. This means I'm at college. This is where I learn about the theoretical aspects. Then it is back to the company, where I also have to put the theory into practice. Okay, we'll leave it there. I'd like to thank you both for the interview, and I wish you both the best of luck for the future. In the meantime, you are helping out at the stand. I won an excavator. No, unfortunately not. But a deck of cards? Well, at least there is a picture of an excavator on the cards. I've been really lucky today. On that note, I'll say farewell for today. See you again tomorrow for some more innovative highlights from Liebherr.